Yo, what's good, homies at home? That's just your boy RC here. Get ready to get into this video about the rich. It's called 10 Hilarious Pictures of Total Ownage. And you know, people get owned every day. Every second of every day, I'm sure. But here's 10 hilarious pictures of it. I hope y'all enjoy the video. I know I will, because it's, it's the richest we're talking about here. Come on out. And if you enjoy my reaction, remember to smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share. Turn on that little notification bell beside the subscribe button, because that lets you know why I first upload and everything. Because YouTube is so broken right now that you can't find any other way of like whatever but and also smash that like button because it helps out a lot like I said and suggest me any videos you think I like in the comment section down below I'm not gonna waste any more time jaw jack and let's go ahead and hop to this video right now Ooh, this video is like 12 minutes long all right then all right we often point and laugh when it happens to other people but recoil in horror when <laughs> so it true happens what happens to us, us we get yes, so pissed we're talking about <laughs> getting getting owned. Owned. Exactly. Boiled down it's basically embarrassment that can come in a variety mm. of different forms sometimes we create our own sometimes others step in and deliver it and mm -hmm. even mother nature shows she can be a bit cruel by dealing out her own <sighs> owners from, from time, time, time to time yeah pretty much one thing is for certain these 10 I mean, cases of people <laughs> getting owned will definitely wow. make you happy it didn't involve you. Speaking of yeah. getting owned, be prepared to take on our quiz because we'd hate for you to be stumped or embarrassed by giving the wrong answer. Oh, this Pay be attention good. because it will be asked during the video. This for now, good. show us some love and hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button. button. Mm -hmm. It'll make sure you stay up to date on our latest releases so you don't miss out and get owned yourself. <laughs> Law and order. Law and order. Not the Many TV show. Many of us show. have been there. You're out on the town looking for a place to park when you spot an opening. Like anyone else, you park your vehicle and head off to do your shopping, see a movie, or whatever else you have planned. Exactly. Your fantastic outing is quickly ruined when you return to your car to find a ticket, ticket, a mm -hmm. parking boot, or worse, no car at all if you've been towed. Wow, you, my that's friend, petty. Just got punished for parking in a spot you shouldn't have. Even if you feel you have been treated unfairly, don't worry. It turns out justice is blind. If you don't believe us, just check out this picture from McNeese State University in Louisiana. <laughs> what we have here is Louisiana police after they have been fully owned by campus security. Oh, boot, man. A tire and a ticket campus stuck police in the window, we bet this zero. trooper will think twice wow. before parking in a fire zone. Come to think of it, oh, the security God. guard who handed out this justice better... First of all, if he's a police officer, he knows not to park in a fire zone. Come on now. So campus police have every right to own him like that. Be careful because we think they just made uh -huh. <laughs> Spelling fail. Spelling fail. Tattoos are a pretty traditional. We've all had spelling fails, yourself. but when it's on your body permanently, it, it's going to piss you off. Group or sports team. Mm -hmm. For most people, getting a tattoo can be a big deal because once it's on, it's, it's on. on. It doesn't sure, get at all. Laser therapy to remove exactly. it, but unless laser therapy. Uh huh. Painful. In any yeah. event, it's often good advice to plan out what sort of tattoo you want, That's why I'm what never you want it to look yanked. like, and never. whether or not you will still be happy with it 10, 20, or even 50 years down the road. Exactly. After all, getting that Justin Bieber tattoo might seem like a good idea right now, but <laughs> you will regret it when you have to explain to your grandkids who that smudged person is on your shoulder. <laughs> yes, no, right? it's also a good idea to make sure both you and your tattoo artist can spell. spell. As we see in this photo, this woman or her right. tattoo artist has spelt the word resilient, resilient incorrectly. It is so What's even wrong. more embarrassing is how she gets publicly owned out of the image on Facebook. <laughs> if you ever want to see how a moment oh of pride can turn into a moment of shame almost instantly, this is it. Witty backfire. Oh man, witty backfire. Social media oh, is somebody rich come back with when it comes mark. to people trying to score likes mm -hmm. and attention. If yeah. they're not posting images of their baby for the 500th <laughs> time, then attention seekers <laughs> are usually trying to post something witty and topical. Mm -hmm. Politics, war, sports, these are the usual topics that get used. In this instance, the poster has turned to everyone's favorite annoyance. Gas, gas prices. prices. They yeah. added a comedic element by tying it into their own grade point average. In actuality, the comment seems harmless and funny enough. After all, gas prices are high, and who wouldn't want sure, their grades to have are. the same characteristic? 
Enter the social media troll. This is uh -huh. no normal troll, however, as they possess the magical ability of taking the original joke and completely turning it against the OP. You <laughs> see, by staying on topic and turning the content back on the OP, what we have here is a simple yet effective case of troll owners. Yeah. In this case, <laughs> our responding troll has managed to get everyone from chuckling at the original quip to pointing and laughing at the OP because it's implied they aren't very smart. And that's all. messed up. That's horsing that's around. So horsing around, really. If you've ever lived or worked on a farm, then you likely know your way around animals. Yeah. For instance, you know if you're ever confronted by a bull, you should back away slowly and never, never run. run. If you're dealing with pigs, then you know you need to be the boss because a pushy pig can cause you to fall and get trampled. Mm -hmm. With chickens, well, we never discuss KFC around them. We hear they really <laughs> don't like them. Then we come to horses. Rule oh, number one is that you should never, never stand, stand behind, behind a horse. horse. Of course, you never okay, stand behind a horse. That a bit. Rule if they, number one they're is liable to kick back. Never get behind a horse and do anything that startles it. Take this guy for example. Exactly. Impaired, trying to show off for friends or both, this man decided it was a good idea to pull the horse's tail and slap its rear end. The exactly. horse very clearly let the man know it wasn't appropriate <laughs> by dealing with two Look at that fight. Look at that kick. I love that. We bet it will be a long time before he tries something like that. I hope he gets scared of horses because of that. Logic I oh, hope because bro. Come on now. Head on over to Facebook and you'll find people trying to get all deep, super poetic, or trying to hand out some sort of advice to others. For exactly. the most part, it's True. something generally True. cheesy that sounds like it's been lifted from one of those chain letters you keep getting. Exactly. However, sometimes, if you're lucky, you can find a friend who is trying to have a good rant or shame fellow friends for falling short of expectations. Take this Facebook conversation, for example. The original poster is clearly fed up with freeloading friends. After all, they say they're not a tax exactly. and expect some sort of money in return for their services. I know, right? Wait a that minute, is true. that statement has our spidey senses tingling. Apparently, we're not the only ones. A friend soon chimes in and politely responds that if the OP wants money in exchange for well, driving people backwards. around, then that, that in fact makes, makes her, her a taxi service. service. Exactly. Ouch. Hopefully, <laughs> friends who can spare some aloe vera because she just got burnt. Uh -huh. Albeit in a rather humorous <laughs> way. Yeah. All right, it's time for our quiz. Oh, quiz Since time. we're talking about pictures, do you know approximately how many photos are uploaded to Facebook each and every day? No. Think about your answer while we show you some more examples of people getting no, I'm, owned. I'm pretty sure it's owned in translation. I'm pretty sure it's millions. Since so of many photos. people have tattoos, and many of those tattoos are pretty bad, Probably it makes sense that millions. we would take one more look at this topic. Oh, picture so there are any tattoos house. that are just drawn badly, or as we've seen, filled with no spelling. Regret. No However, what about all those tattoos that people get that are Chinese symbols? Oh. Yes, for a long time, those of us who wanted to prove how deep and spiritual we were headed off to get some sort of symbol which we could then show off to our friends. And backfire. For the most part, the symbols were accurate and meant things like strength, courage, or love. True. Then there's this unfortunate <laughs> showing off her new tattoo on Facebook. Oh. This girl likely thought her symbols meant something, something deep, deep and meaningful. And meaningful. Not so much. Mm -mm. In this instance, her pride is smashed, and she gets owned when a friend posts what the symbols actually mean. Wow. Yes, having picnic table tattooed in Asian symbols down your side is not deep at all. But hey, maybe there's someone out there with the symbols for picnic basket, and the two can live happily ever That's after. That's messed up. Boating Man. safety. Boating safety is a serious wow. matter. Anyone who goes out fishing or just for True. a drive around knows that you shouldn't fool around in or near a boat because it can be pretty, pretty dangerous. dangerous. Exactly. You could yeah. fall out and drown. You could crash into another boat. You could even crash your boat, then fall out and drown. It's yeah. serious business. Yeah. Apparently, no one told I had that happen to me on GTA one time. No doubt fueled with a few beers and looking to impress the nearby ladies, this guy thought he was going to look ultra cool while cooling off. You now see, you look, he convinced you just look his friend stupid. to bring the boat in very close to the shore. Then, once his eyes <laughs> <laughs> ended red and fired a massive 
massive geyser <laughs> later onto the man. <laughs> Just one problem. Yeah. This guy greatly underestimated the force of water that the engine could spew out. Then so again, water. he could just have terrible balance. The end result is <laughs> he, he finds himself lying on the sand while everyone is going to be lost. Boat one, trunk guy zero. Boat one, trunk guy zero. Exactly. Fail. Whoa, relationship fail. Being in fail. a relationship can require work by both parties to make everything run smoothly. Exactly. Depending on who you talk exactly. to, a solid relationship requires things like good communication, trust, trust love. love and beer. Well, okay, in my we opinion, added that last one, but the rest are pretty spot on. The rest are pretty spot on, but the one thing that I want to add is good sex. Like, mm. Anyways, finding out anyway. another guy or girl has moved on in your turf and is pushing you out of the picture <laughs> can make you feel like nah, you just got owned. Not so then fast. there's this story. A girl named Jackie was away on a business trip and decided to check up on her boyfriend with a little texting and some naughty pictures, oh, if you know what we mean. In this instance, uh -huh. however, Jackie got sloppy and the boyfriend's attention to detail uncovered something. You see, in one of the pictures, the boyfriend noticed a second piece of luggage that he knew didn't belong to his girlfriend. Whoa. After finding out what room she was in, he called the hotel and discovered the room was being used by Whoa. the boyfriend's male boss. Busted. While the boyfriend Whoa. was no doubt upset and heartbroken, he informed his cheating ex that her stuff would be bagged and on the front nice. line in order to make her move to Ownville a little nice. easier. Shouldn't have cheated First with your down. boss. It did some pictures Sports to your boyfriend. Are awesome. There's nothing like putting on the game Fail. and watching it with a couple of buddies while enjoying a few beers and some pizza. Of course, actually going to the game and taking in the atmosphere in person is even better. Sometimes. Some people, however, just can't seem to handle the emotion of a live sporting <laughs> event. Maybe it's the energy of the stadium. Maybe it's the combination of beer and a loud party-like environment. Or maybe it's just that you can't stand a player on the opposing team. Oh, that Tom Brady, he's just so smug. Anyways, every now and then, a fan decides to yeah. make a poor life choice by racing out onto the field. Followed by game. Instance, oh. during a game between the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs, one fan made a run for it. All was well until a security guard known only as Tyler chased down the fan and owned him in front of thousands exactly. of spectators. Like a cheetah taking down a beer-soaked gazelle, the outcome was inevitable, yet kind of funny if we're being honest. <laughs> wow. When nature calls. When it comes to the food chain and the general hierarchy of animals, we think it's safe to say that humans are at the top. Not so After fast. All, we have opposable thumbs, True. nuclear weapons, and the ability to rent a car. Because of this, we have the ability to hunt other animals and exert our general authority over them. That's true. Sometimes, however, Mother Nature decides to remind us that just because we think we're, at the, mean top, we're at the top doesn't necessarily mean exactly. the other animals agree to this. Exactly. When an unnamed man in New Jersey discovered he had a raccoon in his garbage, he decided to chase it away with a broom. <laughs> no problem. Pictures show the small masked beast scurry away as the superior human showed it who oh. the boss. Then, then, then the raccoon happened. comes back. The raccoon clearly decided it had had enough and came charging at the man. With the camera catching the broom being smashed on the ground, <laughs> the away, only assume the raccoon uh, owned the <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Well, he just got playing on. Wow, that's wow. Okay, so do you have an answer for us? Do you know approximately how I don't many know, photos approximately, are uploaded? But I know it's about a few million. No, yeah. If you guessed anywhere near 300 to 350 300 million, to then we are millions. truly impressed. That's why I said million. Pictures, and we exactly. wonder how many involve people getting owned. Hundreds of thousands. In any event, I'm sure. that's all from us on this topic for today. Have no fear, though. The richest has a bunch of videos all about funny, cringeworthy, and damn pictures taken at just the right or wrong moment. <laughs> Wow, that was crazy. I have to say, this was one of the best videos of total ownership that I've seen because the, the richest they nailed the spot on. But I didn't know between 300 to 350 million pictures were uploaded each day on Facebook. And I'm pretty sure hundreds of thousands, and even a hundred thousand or more of them is somebody get on. Bruh. I mean, people just. Mm. <laughs> People never cease to amaze me, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Remember to smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share, suggest me any video you think I like in the comment section down below. Tell me what you liked about this video. And until next time, it's your boy RC signing off. Much love. Peace.